That's only of course for breaking the flag on top, so that's not going to take long. I'm worried about taking all this off. Look at the size of that. There you go. Morning. Uh, what's the date? Uh, 18th. Mr. Calendar Man. 18th, I think. 18th. Yeah. And it's. Um, Later than it should be. Flag on my ass and, and gave us more. Perfect. And obviously, yesterday we had finished up concrete. Um, yeah, the, the <laughs> that, that's we finished concrete. Um, so today we are on the block work. I've made a start already, as you can see. But um, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say because that's 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 what the job entails. Get the block work in. <laughs> um, Profiles are there ready to get set up. We're using screw tires this time. No um, wall starters this time. We're just going to do our screw tires the old way. And. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know the drill by now, don't you? We're going to get you on time lapse. We'll um, load up some more block. That's a bit of a leaning tower of Pisa. What the hell? Art. But, um, uh, yeah. I'm not firing all cylinders this morning apparently. I'll uh, I'll see you when I've got a clue. Hello from the GoPro. Which doesn't last long because we forgot the uh, DJI. We know why we've got a DJI now. Yes. Right, profiles are up, lines are up, damp course is down. All the cuts have been done down that end for Alex. Thank you. I've done enough to take it back to the top, apart from the course in brick course. And yeah, we're going to have to get next door to move the car so I can do some more cuts here and keep the customer to move his car out of the way when he comes back because um, we can't do all these cuts um, when we get to a metre it drops off to pillars so it's a pillar on the corner there and a pillar on the corner there so that's all going to be cut both both skins and then um, we need lintels for the back definitely the back, maybe the front and we need one for the customer wants us to put any lintel in there so I'll sort that out for them too. So for now we just need to get a load of block work up. So I've got a bit more cutting to do on this corner and then um, we can get flying. There you go.
on a Wednesday the 19th of June, 9 o'clock. We've had a bit of room around here this morning. We've uh, been for lintels, because we're going to do them, because it's rendered, we're doing it all in concrete lintels. We're going to put lintels on both sides of the cavity. So here's our front. There's one of our doors. There's another door. And then the other two 12 ones are for the window. Which we'll, we'll need, we should have got 1050s for that now. Bloody hell. We need to, we'll cut them down anyway. But, so we'll have to pocket out for that. Um, and Alex is going to do this lintel first, this little 900 here. And then we put a pocket out above for these two. So we'll have to take that section out. Um, sorry about the wind. Just notice the wind. So yeah, um, getting everything out. And then all that's left here is. I'm going to jump on this. It's just that piece there, like that. 280 piece stacked up to keep your keep your cavity open. What we used to do with this on the conservatories was put a damp course up there and build up to it. But then you've got a cold bridge then, so uh, keep it open the same as all the reveals. So then you can put a um, what's it called cavity closure in. But um, that's down to the window fitters. Robbie and Robbie aren't doing the windows on this; they're just doing the roof. So I've sent Robbie a few pictures and all the measurements for the wall plate which are taken from the wall to the inside of the cavity. So that one's 960, that one's 2430, that one's 1210. And obviously they need lapping at the corners with it's just on each other. So yeah, that's it. And it doesn't, doesn't do that anymore. The door is going to shut because everything's straight. Um, yeah, this is the cable we put in, we put in the duct so that comes right up in the corner. Uh, that's for a camera, I think. This, that's been cut off. This, this socket still works, so I'm going to drop this down out of the way. This is in the way here. And it also, we're going to get the scaffold up today and get this um, massive bell cast knocked off and take, take the render off and expose what's behind there to see what we're working at. Because that'll be tomorrow's job. Lifting that brute in. Not looking forward to that. So yeah, that's, that's the day's work. Get, get this porch finished and get prepped for tomorrow. Train ourselves a head start for that. Because that's going to need a bigger hole. Because the tree will be going above the lintel. So it's like there's no tree going in. Mm, I think it probably still needs a tray, but not, not vents. We'll see. Right, let's crack on. Set a new standard now. <laughs> We're gonna have the lintels in before break now. Okay, please. Wowzers. Oh. That is not level. No. That's level. Yeah. What are you going to do then? Yeah, we'll have to pack this end up, won't we? Took out some sleep from here for me the other day. I think I should do it. Can I have um, What about that? It wants to be bigger than that, doesn't it? Like lintel size. I think I should do it. Can I have my trial and a point trial, please? Are we filming this a bit? Yeah. Is my trial not good enough for you? Can't say on camera.
in there. Oh, get in there. Oh, there's two beds down there. One's oh. very, very hot, one's very, very thick. One gone. Um, Sorry? That, that, that uh, quarry tower that I threw down then, that would have been in the bed. Where did you toss it? Straight down there. Uh, you move a few bits, should be a few of them. charge 50 grand for I just did there. No. Okay, a bit more gobble, I'll point that up and we'll just put the break. God, that is a uh, wonky window. Huh? That is a wonky window. One thing done. Yeah. Although it was a thing that we didn't know was going to be happening. Yeah. Luckily, it's not a temple window from the house that you do. Yeah. There we go. Lintel done. Mission accomplished. So now we need to build over the top of it, patch next to the lintel there. And it's ready for these lintels to go in after break. So while Alex is cracking on with the block work, I'm going to get these two lintels in. The outside is going to stay as it is. The inside is going to be built up a bit higher. Robbie we'll sends us a message with the height that he wants for that. So we'll sort that out and uh, work our way around. By the time I've done it, Alex should be up there. And then um, probably I'll get on with that pier there. And Alex can get on with knocking this all this render off here, which we did leave because we need to pocket in the lintel there. Um, we we'd originally thought that wall was solid so we didn't need that off but obviously if the wall was there we wouldn't need a lintel so we wouldn't need the pocket. So pocket doodle do today. Yeah, good job we've got to skip. We'll be using most of the brick and then I'm going to go and have a bit
stupidly asked end number one done. That was fiddly, but that's three lintels in now. Three down, two, four to go. As you can see, this one sits above the new one on the house. So let's get that one in first. All packed up, redid the insulation. No tray in there, no, not even bothered with the tray because it's inside the porch. And it's rendered. That's all fine. And then we've got, of course, it's the equivalent of a course of brick runs around the perimeter on the outside. Then, same on the inside, of course, a 40mm split and then the wall plate. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'll just set this up for us in super quick time. Nice one. We can hop straight on here now and get this up. This is going to be a lot quicker now because we're not faffing about on all this kind of crap. So, um, let's get this phone and get up there. Right, Robbie and Robbie came, so we chatted for a bit. Then we had dinner. That's another bit gone. I'd say two hours since we last worked so. getting on for two o'clock now so we've pushed ourselves into a late finish probably which is our own fault as you can see from another angle that side's finished um update on the roof is that's how it's staying we're not touching the back now they're going to build that up with this 4b3 wall plate so um that's good news so that's a bit less cutting to do on the still on the bit less cutting to do on the saw so um right I'm just going to cut this pocket out now, this is the time consuming bit and um, get these two in, oh, get this block back on and get this built Do you want to do the cuts? Can do Okay, so there you go Two more, 280 Two at 280 one. and then you cut one down to 65mm Right, let's get this hole punched out Oh yeah, Alex also took, discovered we have an arch with such a massive bell cast on it, that's ridiculous so, what's, what's them tiles that'll drop on your head? They're, 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 they're all the in, they're not going to drop. Right. There goes the trim. Yeah, so I'm going to knock this pocket out for it. It's only used to be a small pocket for these little lintels. And then that block had just moved a bit, pushed out, so that's going back on. And then we're going to run this pillar up. So there's quite a bit bloody left to do, but... Um, We'll just have to get on with it. So. Cut that long piece, one down to 65 now, mate. They'll do for the other end. Yeah. There's a couple of longer pieces down there. Stuff. It's a bit big as well, that's not 65 that. That's not 65. <laughs> Right, I'm in the camera. But Alex is just finishing the cuts there. So once I put them in, that's this is finished. This end's done. Just wants flushing up, and just need to patch this in here. Then, um, well, when Alex has cleared up, I'm going to get a step done, and I'm going to start fresh on the limpet tomorrow. I'll have a full day at that. And the uh, fingers crossed it goes well. I'm just worried about taking all this off. Look at the size of that. Looks like lime render in the under bottom. Might sand cement that. That does. That does. Not that stuff underneath that bell cast. The tiles. That's huge that. Can't see any modern plaster putting them things in as a bell cast. Oh anyway, there's all the original stuff. Even the pink one. So yeah, bit of patch in here. Last few pieces there, step and we're out of here. But I think it's after three o'clock anyway. Five past 
past three. Right, better pull my finger out. Line, there's our lintel all bedded in, nice and strong, patched in, and that's going to be our bed for our lintel, our new lintel tomorrow. There we go. I just need to get down there and patch that corner. Like I say, it's just after three, so um, that's only, of course, a brick and a flag on top, so that's not going to take long. So I'll probably help out. Let's get the um, no, I won't. I'll take, this, I'll take the scaffold down while he sorts it. Um, so it's um, to tidy up out because it's always cleaned up properly. And obviously, we we'll make a mess there tomorrow. I think we're we'll going to we'll bring the April sheet back and cover that grass up. Yeah. Uh, doesn't really matter. It's all getting, it's all going eventually anyway. But we've just got to keep it clean because it's not getting done straight away. So it's got to be tidy. That's why I'm going to step in for the parents so they can use it until the drive gets done. Just make it safe. Right. Excellent. I'll chew me tape, please. Chug me tape, please. Thank you. Al, oh, can I pass me a square, please? Me a square, please. Right, so we've got your flags, which is one meter and twenty, including the joints. Then we're stepping in an inch on the side, an inch on the front. So we've got an overhang, and we're going right up to there because it's um, for his elderly parents to make sure they get in okay. So we're just going to do a big bed on the brickwork, big bed on the flag, and it should get us to about there and half it, half the distance. Thank you.
we're done with the mixer. <laughs> that was a sluggish day, to be honest, but it yielded results. We are finished with the porch. Tell you what, I wish we finished our porch this quick, with the L. But there you go. Looks weird, Evan. It looks like it's got a whole like, like a like, like a cage top almost with all the lentils around it. But there you go. So that is this finished, insulated up, double skinned, all the bells and whistles. So that means that this will be the end of this video, and the next video will be getting this lintel, which should be uh, fun because we've got all that rendering to strip, and we've got a arch to take out. So no lintel, that's for sure. But yes, that'll be the end of this little saga. It was a, it was. Yes. It was a, it was, it was a tough one, but the, the weather doesn't help. I mean, it just saps the energy out of you, that kind of heat. But that will be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you always know when we upload. It's a massive help. Any additional support you'd want to give, which isn't necessary, there's the um, super thanks under the video and dad's PayPal in the description, which is by no means necessary at all. Thank you very much. It's been Brickling with Stephen Alex with a, a tough but satisfying porch, and we'll see you in the next one.